party. Yo, yo, yo. So we got this Edgar Belanga, Jason Quigley fight happening this weekend. Saturday, June 24th. It's going to take place in New York. It's going to be a DAZN card. In this case, DAZN is Match Wrong, Eddie Hearn, all those guys. It's going to come on at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. As I said, it's Edgar Belanga versus Jason Quigley. 12 round contest, super middleweight, super middleweight, it's 168 pounds. If you did know, Edgar Berlanga is 20 and 0, 16 KOs, 26 years of age, he's an orthodox style fighter. He stands at six foot one with a 73 inch reach. He's from Brooklyn, New York. He had he had four he has had four straight unanimous decision wins after KOing his first 16 opponents. So yeah, man, he's been uh, slipping, to say the least. Or maybe he was just overachieving in the beginning of his career, knocking out those first 16 opponents. All right? In the amateurs, though, he did have a record of 162 and 17, and he did start box. You know, he did start boxing at the age of seven. So he has a lot of experience in the ring, and he has, you know, a pretty lengthy amateur pedigree so yeah man he just have to he just has to get on the right track and just go back to what he knows so maybe he's think, in there thinking too much you know when you're in there thinking too much and not reacting especially when you've been doing something since seven years old you know sometimes you just got to react man and just do what you naturally do things go much better um his opponent Jason Quigley. Jason Quigley is 20 and 2, 14 KOs, 32 years of age. He's an Orthodox style fighter. Stands at six foot one with a 71 and a half inch reach from Ireland. His last loss was a couple fights back. It came to Boo Boo Andre by second round TKO. Jason Quigley did not want to get off the stool in that fight. And he uh yeah. He retired. Well in the corner. He didn't retire from boxing. He retired in the corner from that fight. All right, uh, yeah, and that fight transpired November of 2021. So, Jason Quigley looking, well, he fought a fight after that, and he won, but the guy had, like, a, a crazy win-loss record. So, I think I think it was, like, 30 and 35 and 24 was his win-loss record. So, I'm not even going to count that win. It's the first time Jason Quigley getting in there with a reputable opponent, you know, trying to get his career back on the right track. So, let's see if he can do it against Edgar Berlanga. Uh, my thoughts on the fight, I feel like Edgar Berlanga should be able to get the win. Well, he will get the win. Um, I seen Jason Quigley against Boo Boo Andre. He was nothing to write, a home, write home about. He uh, he has like an upright boxing style. You know, he's, uh, he's not the most athletic. He's not the most quick-footed. He doesn't have the most power. So he's a pretty average fighter. So I, I I see Edgar Berlanga make an easy workout of him, especially since he's back with his original trainer who he was getting those knockout with. I mean, those knockouts with. So let's see if he can get back to those knockouts, man. Like I said, uh, don't go out there looking for it, though. Just let it come to you naturally. Everything should work out, man, which I feel like he should do, man. I, uh, quick prediction, I'll say uh, fourth round KO win for Edgar Berlanga. Getting back to this KO in ways. Let's see if it happens. Uh, if Berlanga does win this fight, I feel like, you know, it's, it might be time for you to, like I, like they say, Tim Bradley and all these guys, you can't go backwards in boxing, man. You're already 20 and 0. You've already been knocking out everybody. Can't go backwards. And it's time for you to go forward, man. So from Jason Quigley, I want to see you in there with the top 168 pounders in the world, man. You know, there's Boo Boo Andre, Jam- Jamal Charlo, uh, Canelo Alvarez, the David Benavidez. You know, I want to see you in there with those guys, man. So, yeah, man. Let this be your last soft touch, you know. All right. Um, I know you got a big support system. Fat Joe, all those guys be at the fights, man. And they want to keep that money train going but 
man. They, I know Fat Joe and all these, or, or they just casual boxing fans. You know, they don't, they don't know what they really looking at. Because uh, they can keep throwing you in there with, you know, people you expected to beat. And having everybody go crazy like you the next best thing. Or you can really challenge yourself, you know. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, we shall see. All right, also on undercard, you got Adam Konoski versus Joe Kuzmano. It's a 10-round uh, contest, a heavyweight. Heavyweight is the big boys. Adam Kwanowski is 20 and 3, 15 KOs. Joe Kuz, Kuz, Kuzmano is 20 and, 21 and 4 with 19 KOs. All right, in this fight, Adam Kwanowski, he needs to win real, real bad, man. He has lost his last three fights after... Uh, um, after starting his career with a record of 20 and 0. So, yeah, let's see if Adam Panaki can get back to his winning ways in front of his hometown fans. He, I think he's with a new promotional company as well. If I wasn't mistaken, he was with Premier Boxing Champions. Now he's with the zone. So, let's see how that goes. Yeah, tune in if you can. It's going to be a smooth little fight card, man. But, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. All that shit, people. Rob's Royal the Boxing.